Hello everyone and welcome. It's Shanna. I'm so glad that you're here today. Now today we're going to be working on our um, Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar Day 4 goodies. Now these goodies are, um, I think there are, let's see, there's eight dies and it says from me and to you and it has both the phrase die and then the sha the coordinating shadow die that goes with it and um, so these are real nice and they die cut out very nicely took them over to my die cutting machine and they were super clean and they're all connected so there's no um, fussing with getting them in there and everything all you have to do is just die cut out the phrase and then die cut out the shadow and get them laid down on there so that's what I'm going to do here and I've decided that um, from me to you kind of sounds like a tag for a gift so I've um, decided that I'm going to do a little gift tag on this video and just um, throw something together so I'm also going to I thought it'd be fun to also bring in the previous die set that came with the crafty advent calendar um, and we'll add some little embellishment to our tag so I'm gonna bring that in as well so I'm just getting these laid down on there and just trying to um, press them down and then clean up any glue that is left on there and it comes together pretty quickly now today I'll tell you I've been having some technical issues I ordered some new equipment and none of it uh, was what I needed or compatible with what I have <laughs> so I'm gonna have to send it back and then in addition to that I just broke my camera mount as I was uh, filming this little segment here so um, I'm just having some real technical issues so I'm gonna have to work through that and um, see what I can come up with for a solution so I'm gonna get my little U laid down on here and then we'll bring in our tag elements and should make a pretty fast card out of this. So I'm just gonna push those out of the way and get my, my little sentiments out of the way and then just start bringing in my pattern paper um, and my, tie, uh, my tag. So I took this um, Spellbinders, I think it's called Stormy Sky paper, and I used the little um, edge to trim out both the stormy sky and then this pattern paper. And this is coming from a uh, pattern paper set that I've been using the last few days from the paper studio. It's called Vintage Amour. And I've not been able to find it to link it up exactly, but I have been linking something similar um, in my description box. So I'm just getting that laid down on there. And then I also had this strip of, it was actually um, laying in my trash from a card that I had done before. And I thought I could just lay that on here and just snip it off and it would just make another little layer of that scalloped edge and I thought that'd be cute. So I had um, just dug that right out of my trash. Uh, my trash was fairly clean because I had emptied it the other day and so I could easily see this piece laying in there. <laughs> and I noticed it when I was, when I was um, weeding um, the big dye there, the scallop dye for the pink there. And I thought, I'm just going to pull that brown right into this. So I'm just going to lay just a little bit of glue down on here and try and line this up. And this will add just a little decorative feature to our tag. This is a very simple project, but I just wanted to show, I guess, a way that you could use um, both die sets together and come up with a cute little tag. Whoops. <laughs> I kind of spun it around my glue nozzle there. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to press it down. Now I could have put a shadow backing on this as well, um, but I opted not to do that and just to let the pattern paper poke through there. And I'm just going to lift it up and, and um, snip it off. It doesn't snip as easily as I had hoped, just because I think I had a little glue on there and it was a little wet. So it takes a little effort to get it lined up just right. Then once I get this snipped off, then we'll just lay our little from me to you down on here and we'll have a tag ready 
I like this little vintage pattern paper. I thought it was pretty. It has a, a, a blue color in it. I don't think you can see it on camera that matches that blue tag. Um, it's just very faint. I think you can see a little bit, um, but it's, it's pretty faint on the camera. But it matched nicely, and I thought it would make a nice little combination for the pink and the brown and the blue together. And I liked those colors. I'm also going to bring in, I've got some twine um, that I've used in the past for my little mug rugs that I make. And I thought I would just bring in a piece of it because I needed something kind of um, crafty or brownish looking and that's what I had on hand. So I'll just bring it in. First I'm going to use the um, tag, the whole cover, I'm not sure what you call that, reinforcement I guess and lay that down over my hole and then I'll bring in my twine and just feed it through there and that'll finish off our tag. I think this was pretty fun. I am late. I've been um, dropping my crafty advent calendar videos at five o'clock but it's already quarter after five and I'm just now doing the voiceover for this so this is going to be a little bit later than they have been running all week but um, better late than never. So I'm just going to snip, kind of clean those edges off a little bit, and then that'll pretty much finish up my tag. So I hope you like it. I hope it gave you an idea of something that you could do with the From Me to You and how you could use the two different die sets together. So if you like it, consider giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye now. <music>